Grigor Dimitrov, our 11th seed with a solid three-set victory today over Tabiu. Thank you for joining us at Thank our Tennis you. Channel Cadillac desk. Always a pleasure, brother. Always. Was um, <laughs> was touch and go there for a minute in that yes, second set. Yes, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was uh, way too close for my <laughs> line kings. It was way too close for my line kings. Yeah, it was a diff difficult one, honestly, today. Um, yeah, I faced an opponent that, <laughs> that was serving extremely well. Yeah. 81% on the first set, 82 in the second. So I was, uh, I was kind of hoping he's gonna go down <laughs> under that. But it was a, uh, it was a difficult match overall. I mean, I, I felt like I was playing a good tennis, but I would just, I wasn't able to read his serve well enough. And I think that that caused a lot of problems. And 5-2 down in the tie break, yeah. and um, I knew it's only one, one break. But I had to find a way to, to get out of it. And I think that point at uh, at 5-0 like really gave me like yeah. a second win a little bit. And uh, finished the set with a uh, with an ace, and I try to keep that momentum going into the third set, and it helped a lot. I mean, look, you, you you've barely been off the court, but you already knew some of the stats from the yeah. court. How how important is that for you? Do you really get into the numbers after each match? Uh, some numbers, to be honest. Like I, I, I don't want to be too too hung up on that because uh, I think a lot of players play very different in, in in different moments. So I think for me it was just just very important to see some of the some of the basic stats. I mean, I think I've I've played uh, nearly against everybody that that could be out there on tour. So. I know more or less what they're doing on a big points, but uh, it was, uh, as I said, it was extremely well today. He served. Uh, it was impressive, honestly. Even even for me to to to, to face it, and uh, yeah, it, it was it was a big challenge for me. Yeah, he's a he's a, he's a talented yeah. player. Um, look, I, I've seen you play so many matches over the years, and something that you seem to have consistently improved over the years. For example, like today. When you're when you're not finding all the best in the right moments, you're still finding ways to win. That's a skill that the best have. Yeah. Do you feel like that's something that's really improved as you've gotten older? I think so, but but it also comes with the game a little bit. I think the more the more you stay on the court, the more you start to understand the game. Uh, and I think when you have a close wins, it certainly helps to build that confidence in those particular moments. So, I think go, going through those. To those moments, you know, like my my heart rate doesn't raise up, or you know, it, it kind of stays pretty pretty constant. And I think that gives me some sort of um, stability, awareness in in, in those moments. So I, it definitely, I think, helps. But I I'm enjoying it also in the same time. So I think that's something that I that I wanna that I wanna keep on doing and. Uh, I just want to get better also, that's all. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's not easy, um, especially when you've played for so many years, but there's always way to improve. And I think I want to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hung up on those moments right now. Yeah, you know, we talk about yeah. that from time to time, that balance between off court, on court, life and tennis. And, you know, again, you seem in such a great place, but <laughs> you're playing such great tennis. You, uh, you seem to have a really good grasp on that balance right now. I think it's different for everybody. Um, I thought that there were times that I felt like oh, I could do everything at the same time. <laughs> and uh, I think with time I understood my strengths um, on and off the court, yeah. um, starting to understand how can I balance those, I'd say those moments, because all that is, is a moment. Yeah. One moment you're on the court, other moment you're outside uh, doing treatment, yeah. the next moment you're preparing for match, tournament, whatever it is. So I think probably like to, to sum it up i think it's just very important to stay in all, all these moments separately right. but just to be um present and i think to to do whatever you do you do it with a hundred percent um in and like this you don't get any um any doubts yeah. and um you know the <laughs> The, the bill for regret is very expensive too. So that's an ex I don't. You don't want to touch that bill. You don't exactly. Touch you don't want to touch that one. Um, listen, you've had some spectacular highs during your career. You know, you beat Roger at the U.S. Open. You've won the Nitto ATP Finals. You, you, you've had a, some impressive moments. It seems to me you're playing the best tennis of your career right now. How, in your mind, how far do you feel you can go? It could be. Uh, actually, you're not wrong. I think I'm, I'm playing tennis better. Yeah. Overall, yeah. definitely. I think. Um, you gotta seize those moments when they come around. It's just how it is. Um, I, I believe, you know, I believe that I can still be a contender for for the big titles, and I've proven it again in the past months, and I'm proving it again. Um, I just want to, I just want to stay, stay in that, uh, in that mode, you know, in, in 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 that presence, because you know, if you do all the right things, I think eventually you you'd get, you'd get that opportunity, but then. 
it's up to you to see how you're gonna how you're gonna do it and the only thing you can do is go after it whatever it is like go after it and um you know who knows Amen. Maybe, maybe better things around the corner. Amen. Amen. <laughs> um, okay, I want to take this opportunity to ask you an interesting question. A few a few weeks ago, I think it was maybe a month ago, the, the rankings came out on one Monday, and there were no one-handers in the top ten. Yeah. Now, you have one of the most beautiful one-handers we've you. seen. You can do so many different things with it. But um, if, if you were a youngster now, do you think the more optimal thing to grow up with is a <laughs> one- or two-hander? Fair question, fair question. I think, uh, I think we'll be... Uh, it's difficult. I'm not gonna lie. One hand is difficult. You need to you need to be playing from the whole beginning with it. I think that's the only way to to get yep. good at it. Yep. I think eventually with time. But I think uh, other than that, it's it's just diff it's very difficult shot. Will I always teach that shot? Yes. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yes. But everyone may not be able to hit yeah. it as stylish as you. Yeah, well, you know? there, there's, you know, there, there, there's moments. I always say, like, it's, but it's very taxing on the body as well. I mean, yeah. when, when, you try to, when you try to hit a back with one hand, I mean, you know how it is. Like, you just, you got to be able to hit the slides. You got to hit the right. drop shot. Got to stretch out for the return. Right. Got to step in when the boy's <laughs> high. So, yeah, a lot of work is going on in that shoulder. So, I think you, you, um... Yeah, you got you got to make it just just how it is. Listen, man, we're gonna we're gonna let you go. Give us a quick word on your on your next opponent. You'll take on uh, Danny Kaufman next. Who yeah. um, he's a he's a player who can come up with some big wins. Yeah, um, and he's done that. Yeah. He's done that. Uh, I've seen a few, a few of his matches. Uh, uh, great competitor, I think first and foremost. So uh, I think it's gonna be an interesting match overall for me. I mean, again, I'm looking after my side of the net. I've never played him, so of course I know more or less what to expect. But um, not one match is the same as the other, so I think that's um, that's something I just need to to be aware and um, yeah, look after my side of the net. All right, man. Well, listen, go get some rest and thank uh, you. Don't don't intimidate him too much. Next match, you come out with those suns out, guns nah, out. You're gonna guy. scare him. Play <laughs> look who's talking about that. <laughs>